Zwift on the big screen TV is so much better. And if you have not tried it, today I will show you how to get it done. Today, you can run Zwift on your iPhone, you can run it on your iPad, you can run it on your PC, or you can run it on a laptop, or an Apple TV. But how do you get it from all these small devices, like an iPhone screen, onto a big screen TV? Today, I'll, I'll walk you through how to do this. It's pretty simple, and you just need a couple of things to your setup, and you'll have Zwift on a big screen TV. First choice is your iPad or iPhone. Run Zwift from the iPad or iPhone onto your big screen TV. You need to download the Zwift app. It's free. You just need the membership, which is about $15 a month, and a smart trainer, uh, a Bluetooth smart trainer, preferably. That, and if you bought your trainer in the past couple of years, your trainer is most likely uh, smart uh, Bluetooth compatible and ANT compatible. Uh, connect the smart trainer to Zwift on your iPad and start running Zwift on your uh, iPad or iPhone. And you can use, if you have already have an Apple TV, you can use AirPlay to broadcast wirelessly from your iPhone, iPad onto the big screen TV. I do not like that method. You're gonna have a problem with it, so don't use it. Uh, the preferable way is to connect hardwire from your iPhone or iPad to your big screen TV. And to do that, you just need a digital uh, adapter uh, that connects to your iPhone uh, port onto the uh, an HDMI cable, and from there it will connect. I have one of them. I think this is not. This is not what I'm talking about, but it just, you basically, it looks something like this. Uh, you will have an HDMI cable at one end and the iPhone port on the other end, and it will uh, connect to your TV. So if you're using your iPhone and you want to, and you only have ANT plus uh, devices that you would like to connect to Zwift on the iPhone or iPad, what you need is one of these. Uh, this is a, uh, made by Wahoo Fitness, and you can buy it on wahoofitness.com. Uh, and what is it? What is this? Is basically an ANT Plus key, and it is only available in the old uh, 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 iPhone 30 pin adapter. Uh, so you will need to get a to get one of the Lightning adapter plug-in that connects from 30 to, uh, to Lightning, and it will be compatible with your latest iPhone. And what it, when you, when, what, what this does is it will convert, it will allow your iPhone to receive ANT plus uh, signal and pair with Zwift, and Zwift will be able to display that data for you. Uh, this is what I recommend if you're using an iPhone or iPad. The next choice is using uh, your laptop or a window, your laptop or a PC or a desktop. Uh, this, you, what you need is to run this, you might need to get one of these ANT plus keys. Uh, these run you about uh, $20 uh, or f between $20 and $40. And uh, you can connect your trainer directly to your PC and uh, through ANT plus. If you have a Mac, you can run um, you can run uh, Bluetooth with your Mac, uh, but Windows will run only on ANT Plus. So connect your trainer to Zwift on your PC and through an HDMI cable, like I, in my Mac Mini, I have an HDMI, it does have an HDMI port that will connect directly to your big screen TV and just broadcast it through the HDMI cable. Some laptops, Mac laptops, do not have an HDMI cable. They have a uh, the Thunderbolt, like this, uh, device that you can, uh, you know, that you will need to get an adapter for. And I have a, this, which connects one side, it connects to uh, the Thunderbolt, and the other side has an HDMI cable. And I'll have a link to these products in the uh, smartbiketrainer.com uh, article. Uh, so you can connect it, and it will connect to the HDMI cable, to your big screen TV, and broadcast. Zwift on the big screen TV. It's pretty simple, it's pretty, uh, and if you have a, a one thing to look for, if you wanna get a dedicated PC for your uh, Zwift, is look for a good graphic card. Graphic card make a big difference.
uh, you can with a, with a good graphic card you can broadcast Swift in uh, high definition or even 4K. It so pay attention to the graphic card. The third option is the Apple TV. The uh, and this is my uh, what I've been using for the past uh, uh, few months, and uh, they just released it to the public uh, about uh, I think a couple of weeks ago. And it works real well. If you are getting an Apple TV now, get the Apple TV 4K. Uh, it will run you about $150, $160, depending on, depending on where you get it. Uh, 32 gigabyte is all you need. You do not need to uh, get the 64 gigabyte. Zwift app itself is only 650 megabyte, and 32 gigabyte is more than enough. So to connect to the Apple TV, uh, you need a Bluetooth smart trainer. You need, uh, and if you want to connect any other devices like a power meter or a heart rate monitor or cadence sensor, they all need to be in Bluetooth to connect to the Apple TV. And now that's where things get a little bit tricky uh, because Apple TV only can only connect to two Bluetooth devices simultaneously. So what happens if you have more than two Bluetooth devices? You can either use uh, the more the Zwift mobile link app which you can download from the Apple Store and it's or uh, the Android uh, the Google Play Store for Android and there you can go to settings and turn on uh, the Bluetooth uh, uh, pairing and what it happened is if you have a Bluetooth heart rate monitor and you want to connect it to Zwift you can pair it to your phone and your phone will display that data on your uh, Zwift session and Zwift will save all that, all that information in your workout and you will see it in, in the final file uh, when you upload it to Strava or Training Peaks. Uh, if you have ANT only devices that you want to connect to the Apple TV, what you need is one of these uh, uh, Bluetooth bridge, ANT to Bluetooth bridge. What? And I have the cable. Uh, and there's another company that makes those called 4iii. And I will uh, link to them in the description of this video. So check that. And what this does is, if you have a, let's say you have a, a power meter that is only ANT plus, you have a heart rate monitor that is only ANT plus, and you want to connect them to Bluetooth to to Zwift. This will take all these devices, like let's say you have three different devices coming into this. It will connect, take the ANT plus signal and convert it into Bluetooth and send one Bluetooth si signal to the Apple TV. And so it, it will be, it will be, it will, Apple TV will read it as one Bluetooth signal and that one Bluetooth signal will have the heart rate data, will have the power meter data, will have the speed and sensor data or foot pod data, and uh, it will. Uh, that's that's one way to go around the limitation of the Apple TV. So this is it. Hopefully that explains it, guys. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, uh, feel free to ask, and please connect in the comments section. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you guys next time. So long.